Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Today, I wanted to talk about an article which was published in the journal Current Biology, but unfortunately, it isn't open access, so you won't be able to read it yourself, but I will link it just in case you have a subscription to that journal or if you belong to a university. The university probably has a subscription, so you might be able to look it up that way. But this article was covered in popular science websites and things like that. There was a new species of Caliphorid, which was found in Morocco, which lives inside termite nests and mimics them through a series of chemical and morphological adaptations. So you can see one here. This is the mask that it uses. This is actually the butt end of the Caliphorid maggot. And these maggots live within the colony of termites and use this mask along with enlarged papillae, which are like these tentacle things that you see here coming off of it in order to blend in with the termites. These termites are strange in that they're not actually blind. They do have eyes. So the fly larva uses its posterior spiracles in order to mimic the eyes. And given that most of this is occurring, most of these interactions are occurring underground in low light, it's not like the termites can see the fly larva super well under normal conditions. But not only does it use its butt end to act as a face mask for what a termite would look like here, it actually has these papillae which mimic the antennae and limbs of the termite. And so when the termite comes up to it to feel it, the fly larva can feel back. Uh, so it actually has muscular control for the most part of these papillae, which is a little strange for flies. And in order to blend in even better, they actually produce a set of pheromones, which you can see here, uh, that perfectly mimic the pheromones of the termite colony that they find themselves in. And this is actually the really interesting part because the pheromone profile of an individual termite colony is unique. So there has to be some way for these fly larvae to customize their pheromone profiles in order to match the colony. If it was just something species-wide as far as all of the flies produce the same pheromone profile, they wouldn't be able to blend in as well with their specific colony. So this, I would imagine, and I can't prove this, obviously, because this is a species that was just recently discovered and there hasn't been a ton of work done on them, but I would think that this has to be some, this has to be customizable in some way. I'm not entirely sure how the fly would do that, uh, but that is super interesting. What, are, what else is interesting about this Rancomaya califorid uh, larva is that it doesn't seem to have any other califorid relatives which have this sort of behavior. It is likely that this is a relatively rapid evolution or a um, fairly recent evolution amongst this family that has allowed it to evolve into this sort of strange mimicking body that it has now. It doesn't just have a few papillae. If you look at... Uh, with scanning electron micrographs of the various appendages between the termites and the califorids, you see that a lot of the actual microstructure is mimicked. So this is almost a perfect mimic, despite the fact that it's an entirely different order of insects uh, separated by 100 million plus years. So it's a very strange sort of thing. The scientists that found this only found a few of them. So they don't seem to be an extremely common fly. Uh, but it is worth noting that there are a lot of other things that live inside termite nests and ant nests, underground social insect nests, and do a, a bunch of different mimicry or um, sort of like pheromone hypnosis on these creatures because it's so nice to live underground. It's nice and climate controlled. There's defense in numbers. Um, these termites actually feed this fly, which is kind of interesting uh, through these pheromone secretions that manages to convince it that it is fully part of the colony. So they groom it, they feed it, they take care of it. Uh, so it really has it made. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I'll link to uh, the both the current biology article and the news article in the description, and I'll talk to you guys later.